race three, the Cape Turf Club Maiden Juvenile Plate over the uh, 1400 meters has been won by number two, Steadfast. Beautiful looking individual as he uh, parades in front of us. He's the son of Give Me the Green Light. Well done to Isaac who looks after him. I'm sure very proud uh, chap and also will enjoy the thousand rand from Hollywood Bets. Thank you to them and Cape Racing. Grant Finikak was the jockey aboard. Grant, well done. Thank you, Vicky. I'm sure look, all of us looking at him in the parade ring thought he looked magnificent. Did you? Uh, did it give you a bit more confidence? Yeah, he, you know, he's a horse that anyone can ride, really. He's such a gentleman, and um, at the same time, he's got tons of ability. Um, his work with me um, was quite phenomenal. Um, of course, I couldn't take... Um, you couldn't be too confident because of the favourite that was in the race, and the favourite form was Frank, so... Um, we just came into the race uh, semi-confident and, you know, just hoping for a good run and he did very well to win that Vicky. I thought for sure we were running second, but, you know, he had to lift up his feet to get the winner, so um, lots to look forward to. Does he still, is he still a horse that, that is going to do a bit more maturing? Of course, he's, uh, he's still very immature and, um, you know, Justin was saying off air earlier, any maiden probably gets, uh, or, or besides him, probably runs second. Um, but he's a horse that um, will just keep on improving. Um, long way to go with him, but um, he's heading in the right direction. Obviously, well done to the nice team, and of course to Gina and uh, Mr. Boots. It's nice to, um, you know, Justin was battling getting winners for them, but since he's been using me, we're getting some on the board. Thank you. <laughs> His merit rating it just goes up every time. Justin, please sort sort the situation out. <laughs> you know, they, all, they all come to me where they're having wobblies in their in their riding career. So that's why in the first race, I've done my favour towards Bernard, got him back on the straight and narrow, and now Grant. So it's, it's, a, it's just a, a circle that turns. And uh, they always know they can come back to Snaith Racing and we'll get them back in the winner's box here. Yeah. It's getting harder and harder every time they come back, I can assure you, but um, they're all fantastic guys. To, um, to uh, Greg Gina, he's a lovely hostess. Uh, uh, he's a horse that um, we thought he'd be a big runner today. Obviously, um, Bernard's horse was going to be very, very hard to, to beat here. I, it would have taken a horse that's, that's really nice, and I think this is a horse that um, uh, certainly is, is one to follow. Um, uh, Fast Fontaine on breeding him, really well done. Lovely horse. And to partners in America that are watching, really well done. This is a, um, a lovely horse and one to follow. And distance-wise, is he going to enjoy further? Yes, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to think so. Um, the gimmies take time. They, they, you've got to be a little bit patient. They're not good through the winter. Uh, as, as the tracks harden up, I think you'll see the gimmies start coming through. Uh, they really do not act in the soft. I've tried through the season, and it's, uh, it, finally they're starting to you know, come towards the end of the season. So certainly they will improve a lot when the conditions are a little bit firmer. Well, Justin, well done for the win. Great. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> there you go. Next up, we're going to have both Gina and Greg uh, join us. I think you uh, you have to take uh, top honours here. Well done. I absolutely love this horse at the sale. Um, he was just magnificent, and um, it's so great to see him win and the way that he did. So, well done and congrats to Vasfontein. And I know Carl also loved this horse. So, yeah, well done to everyone and well done to Leon. He probably looks a lot like his father. As Justin said, you know, the gimmies don't do well in winter, so it's probably their good actions. But um, I'm sure Cole will be watching, and uh, you can both boast about him later. Definitely. Um, yeah, we both see what horses we can choose, and there's a bit of a competition going on. So, so far, I'm leading. <laughs> I'm sure you remind Greg every day. Yeah, we look, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, Greg. Got to up your ante. Yeah, the three that I chose ran earlier today. They ran second last <laughs> Fourth and nowhere, and Gina's one goes and wins. But anyway, that's the na that's the nature of the game. It's not only the nature of the game, but it makes it a bit more fun, doesn't it? Yeah, there's always an edge. But you know what? Listen, we love it so much. I mean, everybody that's here loves it so much, and it's always it's always nice when somebody uh, pops up and puts their hands up and suddenly you think, wow, I've got a decent horse there. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how this one progresses as the as the tracks firm up. I know this is a bit of a, a flashback, but uh, through the, the summer season, the big theme was racing with people. Does it make it a lot more fun? I mean, obviously you two are racing together, but together with partners and all the rest, does it just make it that much more exciting? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Leon, um, Leon is a close friend of my, of my 
of the family for many years lives in lives in Miami now. So just to be able to have the banter and the message and sending the video clips and we've got a horse running and he's waking up early in the morning to, to watch horses run and just being able to share the stories and, and everything like that, it's absolutely. And you've seen with the newly announced syndication with the whole aim of bringing people into racing, I think it's fundamental. It's fundamental to our growth, it's fundamental to the sport and also to make it affordable for everybody from all socioeconomic background to have a small interest. The best thing about this is you can own 1% of a horse but get 100% of the, of the fun and pleasure, and that's the, that's the intent. Well, it looks exciting, and I think as an article about Burnout mentioned, you can definitely tell the atmosphere on course. So well done to the both of you. Enjoy the win. Take it with both hands. Thank you. Thanks. And also, I, I always, you always ask me questions, and I always forget to uh, thank the Snaiths for doing an amazing job and to, to Grant for a very confident ride. I mean, I think our horse beats a, an outstanding horse that came into second. So uh, it's a win full of merit. So, you know, congrats to everybody. Well, then to the two of you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, okay, man. that's uh, Gina and uh, Greg, who both have uh, a lovely horse on their hands, together with uh, Leon in number two, Steadfast, a son of giving the green light, Walden to Fast Fontaine Stud. And uh, Carl, as Gina mentioned, a huge, uh, you're a huge fan of his, so I'm sure you'll be happy with uh, the win. That's number two, Steadfast, winner of race three. And uh, MJ standing by with a comment from Bernard, who was abo aboard a coastal commander. Yeah, thanks, Vicky. I tried to get Bernard out here. Unfortunately, he's got to go sweating. He just said to me that um, the horse came off the, st off the straight, into the straight and on the wrong leg, and he, he tried to get him on the good ground and the, on the inside, and unfortunately, the horse hung out quite badly into what he confirmed. It's quite, it's quite wet in the middle, and it didn't suit the horse at all. And you could tell at the finish, um, a bit disappointing, but it, it was out of his control. Um, the horse will definitely won't take too, too long to win. Um, just need to sort his hanging out and... He's a really nice horse. So, comment from Bernard, unfortunately, the horse hung out. It was not, obviously, his option to go out. And I think it definitely cost him the race. We're going to go to the replay of race three at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth.